Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition. Labatt Blue revisited this Canadian Pilsner. Supposed Pilsner. Introduced in 1951. It says imported. Uh, product of Canada, Brewing Company of Canada, Toronto. 4.7% alcohol. This is an 11.5 ounce bottle. Strange size, huh? 4.7% alcohol. So it's a 340 milliliter. 4.7. When I first reviewed this, it was 5. I don't know why they adjusted it down. Labatt is a registered United States trademark of Labatt Brewing Company Limited. And Labatt USA, their headquarters is Rochester, New York. But the main is, oh, nice smoke, main headquarters, Toronto. And Ontario. Okay. Not too thick of a head, a medium white head, and the appearance is darker than you would expect gold. Dark, bubbly gold. What's the etch bottom? Um, maybe it's a deep gold. Better description. Clear. Very clear. Let's go with the aroma. It's yeasty like yeasty grains. Water is the liquid, obviously. Barley malt. They're using corn adjunct. Maybe rice also. Um, hops and yeast. All right, taste. I'm going to double check their website, see if they give a ingredients list. tap into your beer is down. Um, I checked today. It was given a, a security alert. It's saying this. Don't go to this website. So far. Medium body. Sweetness level. Low. Two out of five sugar cubes. Hot bitterness. One out of five hop cones. Gr dry, crisp finish. I mean, these companies call their products Pilsner, like Miller, Light, a fine Pilsner beer at Labatt, Can Canadian, Canadian Pilsner, but if that's your only exposure to Pilsner, you're not going to understand what they're supposed to taste like. Carlsberg says they're a Pilsner. Well, that'll get you sort of close to that. Danish Pilsner, Grolsch will get you even closer. Uh, Staro Pramen, very close. And Pils Pilsner Urkel, you'll be there in the proper place. A true Pilsner, the original Pilsner, and the best Pilsner, I think. But anyway, back to this, this product. Popular product... Uh, in the Winnipeg with the Blue Bombers Canadian Football League team. And it got the nickname the Blue Labatt, and so they call it, still call it, officially call it Labatt Blue. It's not super flavorful. It's a little bit bland, but it's, uh, it's enjoyable nonetheless as a refreshing product. It's on par with Molson Canadian. If you ask me from memory, what's better, Molson Canadian or Labatt? I mean, to me, it's a tie. Uh, I don't think I can get Labatt or Molson anywhere in this town anymore. All right, ten years ago they were both on the show, but I think I think Molson is gone from here. I mean, in in deeper into New Orleans, I can find it here and there, but to say both of these are popular, or either of these are popular, Labatt and Molson, 
No, we do get Moosehead. That's the only Canadian beer we get now in this town. Moosehead. It stayed on the show, so... Although I prefer Labatt Blue in uh, Molson Canadian over Moosehead myself, but um, that's another story. Uh, oh, we get some Canadian produced products like Sapporo, the Canadian produced version, and those kind of things, but it's a Japanese brand done under contract. Um, score. I gotta save some for a written review. I know I've never done it, put it on, on top. I mean, it's on. It's on par with all these other American macro beers, you know, United States macro beers. They're all in the mix. Molson Canadian, Labatt Blue, Budweiser, Miller High Life, Miller Genuine Draft, Pabst Blue Ribbon, <coughs> Old Milwaukee. If you can find that one anymore. Um, Schlitz probably is better than all the ones I named. Coors is in the mix. Banquet. Yes, so. Okay, wait. I hear the cat. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, yeah, I'll go with 91 out of 100. I think this time I feel comfortable. 9.1 out of 10. A minus. Still an excellent product. It's going to always be, you know, super quality control. It's not going to be like a bad batch. Um, price point around here is like $7.99 for a six pack of these 11.5 ounce bottles, maybe $8.99. So think about it like that. So, Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Toronto, Canada, and tour the Labatt Brewery.